I can't believe this. I had to show you right away as soon as I saw it. So this just came, this was just announced today. If you go to any GitHub repo, right? So, I mean, even this one here, right? I'm gonna open my current repo and you're in a web browser. So if you like that kind of thing <laughs> and you're in here and you just type the letter or just type the dot and it will start up the web editor. It's, I, it's an IDE. It's obviously VS Code in the background. VS Code has been integrated. I mean, this is actually one of the advantages of it being an Electron app is they can run the whole thing inside of a web browser. That's been a thing for a while. The fact that it's been built in and integrated with every single Git repo is pretty freaking amazing. I mean, that's this is this is a completely completely new world in fact because you can automatically preview your github pages uh using you know github pages and stuff like that this can be used for anything so for example if i go if i go to my my zettelkasten repo which is rather large i was like oh it's going to break on this right no look at this there's all of my zettels by id remember we were talking about having a good IDE for your different Zettelkasten, right? There you go. Uh, I mean, it's. I imagine it's possible to even open a specific one in here at some point that's gonna, I mean, it's just the beginning. And, and by the way, I mean, I'm gonna give Microsoft credit for this. Microsoft did a phenomenal job inventing VS Code. I mean, it is a great project, product. Uh, most, most of the world uses it as their IDE. Um, if they're using a graphic thing, it's a great IDE. It is fantastic. But I just, I think it's really amazing that you can just so easily uh, just come in here and just pull anything up. I mean, particularly if you don't want to learn Vim first, right? So I'm thinking about, I mean, I, I obviously, I think you should learn a terminal first, but, but for people who just want to get started coding, uh, you just can come on here and just start editing with VS Code and save it. Uh, I, I knew that eventually this was gonna this was gonna happen, and then it would be something of uh, kind of a deflating moment for Repl.it. I mean, I I like Repl.it a lot, um, and you know, for, for it's a nice sandbox. It's got lots of languages here. Uh, I mean, you can go you can go click on them. You can connect it to GitHub and all that, but. It was just a matter of time. I mean, GitHub has had the ability to edit stuff for a long time. So has GitLab. Uh, and, but, but it was never really integrated in a way that felt natural. It was always kind of wonky and, and had problems. God, this even previews the markdown. Holy cow. You seeing this, people? So, so, so this is like full-blown VS Code in your browser. And... Uh, including markdown previewing, you know, as, as we get ready to go forward and um, start to, to do it's VS code. It's hundred percent VS code. Look at that. Let me get rid of this one here. Uh, the code server code server project. Yeah. There's been a few of them out there that have done this, but this is, I mean, this is spectacular. So, the, 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 one, the three reasons I really like this, I've been talking about, you know, Zettelkast and using GitHub for this for a long time, and I just knew it was the right way to go. And now, now, I mean, anybody can contribute. That I, I, What would be even better is if you made changes and it submitted a PR request automatically. It's just a matter of time before that stuff starts, starts to happen. But, I mean, look, we can, let's do the preview on this guy. Preview, preview. Let's do this. Um, I mean, there's just, there's just, it's just, it's cool. It's just, it's just really, really, really cool. And hell, you could even work on your resume here. <laughs> I could go to slash CV. And now, you know, what's funny is that you can actually post videos too. And uh, I've been wondering how big the videos are that you can start to post. Right. But what's going to be funny. I know people are going to put, they're going to type dot on accident and they're going to get annoyed by that. <laughs> Because <laughs> it automatically does it, right? Uh, this is all dated out YAML files, so that's not gonna. I could probably go look at some of these. Other, I don't. I don't even know what that that's gonna be. But I mean, gosh, I mean, can you drag and drop files in here? I imagine you can. 
I don't, I don't, that would be something to try next. So, so it, this is it. Come on in here and have fun with it. Uh, give it a try. And I, I cannot see myself using much more than that. I mean, this is great because I don't have to install VS Code. You know, I mean, if I, I'm a terminal guy, right? But if there was ever any reason that I would want to look at how things were rendered or or something like that, you know, I could go use uh, this for that. Um, it does also have uh, data.yaml. Oh, the mouse, look at this. So yeah, so sometimes this is when VS Code is really nice. And it sounds crazy from a terminal guy saying this, but there are a lot of times when you want this, right? Look at this. You want to be able to just, to, to like look through a large file at, at much more quickly. I mean, I love my terminal and, and I'm, I can easily navigate this thing, but sometimes you kind of want an overall look of the thing. You know, you just want to, you want to see what's there, right? And, and, and that's, that's the way to do it. That's one way you can go right, th right through that and get it, look at it really nice. Sublime's had it for ages. Sublime invented it, Anger Moose on a loose. Uh, Sublime gets credit for inventing the lightweight editor, lightweight graphic editor. Yeah, they 100% gets credit for that. I mean, they, that was the first one to do it. Notepad++ wasn't cutting it before that, and then Sublime came out and did it. And then everybody came on after that. I mean, I don't need to re rehash that story with you. You know, Adam happened, and, and then, God, what was the other one? Then there's brackets from Adobe, and then there was VS Code, and VS Code ruled the day. Because uh, it's a really good tool. It's really, really good. And it's very consistent. And it just built on all the successes of the other stuff. So that's it. That's it for this video. So go have fun with that. Look around at that. Uh, let me know what you think uh, in the comments or if you want to if you want to if you want to answer that and uh, have fun. See ya.